G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. That's right, we are back and we are continuing on with our farming here at Riverview and we're going to get straight into it. So we left off in the last episode with us uh, finishing off the sowing of our other field. Um, what else did we do? Can't remember now, but anyway, we got that done and now we're going to continue on with preps. We've obviously gone through the next day or so. Uh, we have got some fields ready for harvesting. So field nine and field eight are both ready to harvest. So we'll get those done soon. And then we'll join these together. I've decided I'm actually gonna just join nine and 10 together for the moment. I'm not gonna join field eight in because the plan was originally to join field seven and eight together. So um, we're gonna leave that for the moment and just do nine and 10 um, and then have seven and eight together. Then we've got field 16 and then we're gonna look at these fields over in here as our next sort of purchases. So what we're gonna do though is we're gonna take some of our slurry here and we're gonna go put this on our wheat field and give it a level of fertilization. So uh, let's get that done first. Whoops, didn't want to do that. And um, we'll get that cracking along. All right, so we uh, we have 16,000 litres of slurry in the tanker. So hopefully that's gonna be enough to do this wheat field. I don't know, we'll find out because it is probably gonna go out pretty quick. Uh, if we don't have enough, well, it's gonna be a partly, a partly fertilized field, I guess. Anyway. We'll see how we go. <clears throat> right, round through the trees. Can't see a thing. As we've taken out some of the wall. Zoom back in so I can see where I'm going. Right, there we go. Okay, everyone's doing well. We are doing very well here. So obviously yeah, June 1st is the day we're at at the moment for the farm. And uh, we're just progressing through. So this is quite a wide spread on this. So I'm gonna give ourselves plenty of room. And see how we go with uh, getting this down and prepped. Right, as you can see, nice wide width. But anyway, so we're going to lower that, and then we're going to get going and reactivate, and away we go. All right. So it uses it very, very quickly, as you can see. So we're already down 2,000 liters. So I, I don't think we're going to have anywhere near enough to do the whole field in this uh, one go. So uh, we'll have to wait for the cows to do some more and then maybe supplement it with some uh, fertilizer or something like that. But um, definitely not gonna even get a head row done, especially if we drive like that. <clears throat> Doesn't like doing slopes very well, as you can tell. Yeah, so there you go. So we've a bit of a waste through it. and this is why we don't tend to use slurry too much. I, I think it uses it far too quickly. Um, it sort of becomes nigh on impossible to have even enough to do it. So we've basically all but run out now. Uh, here we go, running out right about uh, two, three meters. There we go, we're out. All right, let's have a look and see what we've done. So this is our field in question. Uh, we'll have a look fertilized. So we've we've only done that much and that was what 11 12,000 liters so um, Yeah, it's It's not um, Not great in that regard certainly uh, I'm gonna raise it up Fold unfold Yeah, I'm, I'm not overly convinced that this is an option we need to use um, so we might just sell this off and then not worry about slurry, we'll just use fertilizer. And the slurry we get from the pigs, we'll just get rid of, uh, from the cows, we'll just get rid of. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna sell this off and not worry about it. It's just not not worth the, uh, whoops, wrong button. It's just not worth the carry on with it. Um, right, so we're gonna do that out. So let's go to the store. Oops, no, it's not what I want to do either. I want to go to the store, garage, slurry. Where's my slurry? Slurry tanks. So sell that off. Sell that off. All right, done. So good start to the episode. Well done. Let's go. Right, let's have a look and see what we've got in here. Um, nothing there, nothing there. Bent 900 Vario. Oh, 8RX. Oh, plenty of tractors. Look at this. 
300 Vario. That's a bit too small for what we want. Uh, then again, it's probably probably going to be okay too. Uh, oh, there's an ideal. Just look at the timing of that. Um, anyway, we've only just we've only just upgraded our combine, so there's no point worrying about that. Um, there's nothing else really there. It'd be nice. Tractors would be nice, but we haven't got enough for that. I'm not going to go into debt for that. And that one there. Mm. 300 Vario. What's our McCormick? Sorry, the case. Uh, it's 270 horsepower. Yeah, I, I don't think I want to go anything less than that. So we're not going to worry about that. Okay. All right. Out we go. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab the um, trailers, the, uh, the crop trailers, and we're going to take them down to the fields, and I'm going to grab the combine. We're going to get harvesting because um, the uh, the slurry was a bit of a waste of time. So we're, we're just going to move on from that as quick as we can and forget about it because um, that was a, a bit of a wasted effort, I think. Wasted time, wasted money, all that sort of stuff. Right. Unless, of course, I've missed something terribly there. And if I have, let me know. But um, I really don't see that it's uh, it's worth the hassle and the amount of uh, sorry we're going to need to uh, to do that successfully. Even for it, that's a relatively small field, it's just ridiculous. Right. So we'll come on around here. Now I'll grab the combine and we'll get these two fields harvested and then uh, we'll be all good to go again. Right, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to come down right down the bottom end of this field. We'll come down here. This is where we'll park. Okay, day. Now, I need somewhere to bring that combine. In fact, um, that's another problem we have as well, isn't it? Combine harvester having enough room to get around. Anyway, let's um, let's take the combine out, and we'll sort that out when we get down to the field. <clears throat> we do have to go and connect our um, connect our corn header too, don't we? That's something we have to go and do. Now we haven't got a trailer for that header either, so we're not going to, I don't think we're going to worry about a, a, a trailer for, pardon me for it. It's only a six metre header. But we are going to have to tangle with the traffic on the way down. So um, that'll be a, a bit of a test coming back. But I'm sure we'll be okay because we're generally going against the flow of traffic, generally speaking. Alright, I'm going to bring, in fact what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this other field from here as my setup point because we've already harvested this field so that gives me plenty of room then to run around because this is all going to be ploughed in when we make this into to one big field so I'll just disconnect there and grab the header and then we'll get cracking on this field and harvest and then we'll go get the other header and we will uh, get the sunflowers harvested and then we'll be good to go Okay, pick the head up. Unfold the combine. And off we go. With the canola, we'll just take this straight, for both the canola and the sunflower actually, when we do the sunflower, they'll both be taken straight up to the processing plant and um, processed into oil. So we don't have to worry about um, taking it to the silo separately or anything else like that, although they're both in the same place anyway. But uh, we'll just get both of these into the, into the processing plant and get that oil being produced ready for us to sell.
Right, we go through here. We'll get the header rows done and then we'll put the AI on the rest of the job. And uh, get all this done. When we when we finish doing this, uh, like I said, we'll plow in these two fields, uh, join them up, get them prepped ready for reseeding, and they'll be reseeded um, as either either canola or sunflower. I haven't decided which one's which, but we're going to have um, probably both. I'm running realistically; it's not going to hurt between the two fields. Um, we've got canola running over in the bigger field, so we'll probably do the sunflower in this one initially, um, and we'll certainly do both crops. We won't just go just for sunflowers for instance um, although uh, sell, sell peak period and stuff like that is about the same I think the pricing is about the same we'll have, have to have a look at the pricing to see which one actually gives us more return if there is one that gives us more return um, and maybe prioritise based on that but for the moment at least we'll just uh, continue where we're at here right, so you can now Continue on, so we've got the hired hand doing that now. So, what we're going to do is go grab that header. Let me have a look at the shop. I'm going to visit over here at the shop. Oh, I press the button, right? Okay, so here's the header here. Um, It's almost worth me buying a little trailer, isn't it? Let's have a look at the cost of the trailer. Header trailer. We need the small one. Uh, no, I need that one. I don't need the shop. The garage, I need the shop. Um, what's that one? What's that one for? It's a bit bizarre. Okay, I've got no idea what that's for. Looks like it folds. I don't know what that is. You know what? I'm I'm tempted to buy that just to see what it does, what it is. Hmm. Let's let's do it. I'm gonna buy that. I, I want to find out what that is and what it does. Anyway. Um so other than that, we've got this one here. So I think that'll probably be okay for the you know, so we're gonna buy that. Okay. Alright, let's go and grab the uh case and we'll head down there and we'll grab the header I'll I will cheat a little bit I guess I will um, just strong hand the uh, the header onto the trailer but I mean really the shop would have put it on a trailer for us so it's it's not really that bad of a cheat in that regard so we'll just do that um, price of money, price of, uh, sorry the amount of money we're spending at the shop the least they could do is mounting the header onto the trailer for us so uh, yeah, we'll just just have that done. And yeah, I don't know what the other trailer's for. That's really got me intrigued. I've, I didn't notice that before. Um, so I'd be interested to see what it actually goes with. Um, but it looks like it's got a bit of a flat tray, but it looks like it folds out. So I don't know. We'll hook up to it and see what options we get with it and see what it does. And then go from there. So, grab this first trailer here. Okay, what options does it give us? Unfold, oh, it's a cutter. Okay, so if we unfold it. Oh, wow. Okay. How cool is that? I wonder if we can put um, put this header on that trailer. I'll unfold it. Let's see, I I want to try that. Unfold. Let that unfold. Now go over here. I'm going to use my um, Superman strength to uh, pick it up. 
Go and go the other way. It's probably not really meant for a combine header. You know what? I don't care. I'm going to try it nonetheless. Yeah, it's certainly not clicking into place. It is locked into place though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to tempt fate. I'm gonna give this a go and see how it goes. I'll leave the other trailer there. So just in case. Um, but I'm I'm gonna give this a go. And if this works out, we'll save it. It's um definitely locked onto the trailer. So it's not gonna bounce not seeming not wanting to bounce off or anything, but um, I like just like the fact you can fold it out. I think that's that's great. Now, really, I suppose this is going to be a trailer for our uh, forage harvester headers. Um, that's really what it's designed for, I believe. Um, but uh, we can make use of it for something like this. I can't see any reason why we couldn't. So that's what we're going to do. Come over here, we'll prep ready to go. The harvest of this field next. Come over here. Oh, there's another There's the Deutsch Fire header cutter. I haven't got rid of that yet, so I'll need to sell that off anyway. Uh, no, we want to continue off there like that. I'm going to unfold. And I'm going to sell that Deutz Fire trailer. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. I want to go to the garage this time. Right. Header trailers, sell you. Yes. Okay. All right. Excellent. I do like that trailer. I think that's a grand idea. Anyway, we'll. um. We'll leave that there for now. All right, let's go over and see how the combine's going. And it's almost finished. Excellent. So we'll wait for him to finish and we'll move him on over to the sunflowers. And as you can see, these fields are only fueling. So this field by the time we finish won't even fuel 8,000 litres, um, I would imagine. So, I mean, really, the, the two fields combined here are probably going to average out to about 22,000 litres. So, only very small, which is fine, but uh, we will join them together to, uh, because we can't, I mean, it just makes sense to join them together in one field. That, that's my opinion, I think so. But, and certainly the other two fields over there, I think if we're going to be prioritised just one or two main crops, um, it makes sense to put them together as well. So uh, that's what we'll do. All right, so he's just gone past seven and a half thousand litres. up so we've got this row to go he'll stop at the end we'll come down and do this little bit here and then we will be complete and that will be the canola harvested and then we can move on to the sunflowers and then that will be it and then we'll um, get into some planting and get everything planted so we've planted the wheat um, in fact we will we'll join Thinking about leaving seven separated at the moment, but I think we'll join we'll join all the fields together. So we'll do eight, seven we'll join up at the same time as we do nine and ten. And then we'll have three primary fields for our crops plus the wheat field for our wheat. Um, and uh, that's what we'll utilize um, 
going forward until such time as we buy more fields. Right. And then here we're going to grab this down here and then we'll be done. Pipe out because we're about to offload. There you go. So we ended up getting 8,336. That's the total yield we've got off of that particular field this time through. But we're going to offload that. trailer we'll take this header over we'll take the header off and then we'll go over grab the other header and get him started on the sunflowers and at that point we can look at starting on uh, prepping this field with the plow as well if we wanted to or we can just wait and get it done after I haven't really decided what's the best attack for that we are going to need New Holland to do the plowing so um, we may be better off just waiting Okay. Okay. I'm not going to worry about uh, unfolding because, or well, folding I mean, because we're just going to be cracking straight back into it again. Now this will be the interesting part as to whether we can seamlessly get it on and off with the combine. I can't see the reason why I wouldn't, but uh, I mean, stranger things have happened, I guess. There we go. I'm going to connect. Nice and easy. Excellent. Alright. And away we go again. This time, sunflowers. A little bit faster speed for the sunflowers, so uh, I think we're doing 10 k's an hour for the uh, canola, and we're doing 15 for the sunflowers. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't come back and fix this little patch up here that I didn't do, but anyway, we'll uh, worry about that later. Scoot over and grab this stuff here. And I guess harvesting is probably the simplest part of the the journey, but I don't know. I don't I don't tend to enjoy doing the harvest as much as I do a lot of the other things. Um, I mean, it goes without saying, doing grass work is the favourite, but. Um, I, I don't know, I, harvesting can be okay, but I just tend to find um, doing the ploughing and, and things like that to be more interesting now than um, than the combine work itself. Um, I don't mind doing the forage harvesting, I mean, probably because I haven't traditionally done a lot of that either, um, which I should probably try and fix and do some more of that, but um, yeah, it's the combine harvesting is just not something that I've um, found that I tend to enjoy and do a lot of so I don't, I don't know but anyway we're going to let him take off we're going to get a lot more yield obviously from canola but um, that doesn't necessarily attribute itself to anything so what I'm going to do though is I'm going to grab the case tractor I'm going to disconnect the trailer and I'm going to go and take the other header and put that back up in the farm while we're not using it and then it's out of the way entirely
Alright, so off we go. We'll take this up to the farm. That one bit of kit less we have to worry about down here. Yeah, I was thinking too, I really need a, a pass through shed so I can just drive through for the headers and stuff like that. Stuff that's a little bit more difficult to park. Um, so I may end up going into GE uh, and, and modifying one or two of these sheds the farm itself um, sometime later down the track. For the moment, I'm probably not going to worry about it too much, but I'm definitely thinking that little shed there to our right now, oh sorry, to the left, the, the one with the rounded roof closed in. Um, this one here will most likely be the first candidate to be removed. Um, so anyway, think about that. We'll worry about that a little bit later. I'm going to shut the engine off. Alright, jump back in the combine and uh, look where we're at. Okay, we've got a little bit of time here, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this load um, of canola up to the silo, I, sorry, up to the factory and get that started. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother waiting. Um, because we are close to the end of the episode, so I don't think we'll even get the harvest finished before the end of the episode. So this way you can just see that we've um, got the crop up and we, we start cranking that production up again. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll just get that moving. Pass our wheat field. And up to the top of the silo and production area. So we're not going in here, we're not going to drop off the silo. Now you will notice I've realigned the factory actually, just to make it that little bit easier for us to uh, get to and from um, with the silos. It was causing a bit of difficulty with um, why isn't that um, giving me an unload option there? Yeah, it's being titsy again with its right hand, left hand side tipping. So we'll just do that. Okay, what we'll do while that's doing that is we're going to come into the production area. Come to our factory down here. So we've now got some canola oil coming in. We're going to activate uh, that. It's details off. Hmm. Well, that's their fault. But anyway, I think that's actually from the. Uh, a, no, that's all gone to shit, hasn't it? Um, yeah, I think that's from the mod for the contracts. And I think that's just gone to tits up. But anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, man. That's just ridiculous. Um, we might have to get rid of that mod. Um, we're going to activate that as well because we're going to be bringing that up in a second. But as you can see, we've now started producing our canola oil. So we've got 22 litres there now. 24 and off it goes. So that's all well and good. We'll head back down to uh, the field and uh, wait for the combine to finish. And then we'll come back up and we'll get that going. But that will be done off air um, because um, it is time for us to go. We have come up to our, our time and we need to uh, bid you farewell until the next episode here at uh, Riverview. So if you did like the episode make sure you press that like button. Uh, we will continue on with the preparation of fields and that in the next episode. Remembering we are not running seasonal growth on this series so um, we've got plenty of time to do everything so it doesn't actually, we don't have a, a time where we have to get things planted or whatever else so um, we can take a little time if we need to. But uh, apart from anything else, um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please also consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of the channel. And if you do press that subscribe button, make sure you press the alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when more videos like this are available on the channel. And of course, don't forget to come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook. The details for all those are down below in the description. But most importantly, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you all very, very soon back here at Duck Solar Gaming and Riverview Farm. See you all later. Bye-bye.